Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. Tonight I am recording your podcast at Walt Disney World Resort. I've had the opportunity to spend the last few days here to celebrate a big birthday that I've had. Yes, a big one, a 50th. Oh, yes, yes, that's a big five zero for me. And truthfully, I have felt really good about it. I've been pretty excited. I felt celebratory. And then thereafter, I've started to feel a lot of emotions. But that's pretty much par for the course for me in the last year or two anyway. Maybe in my seasoned experience in life, I have become more aware and allowing more emotion, feeling. So tonight, we're going to talk about emotion. It's just emotion that's taken me over, caught up in sorrow, lost in the... Where is it lost? Where is it lost, the emotion? Have you lost yours? Have you now? Well, you probably haven't lost it. You've just, if you're anything like me, you've become quite masterful at stuffing it, holding it down, because you and I are what we call empathic, which means we feel literally everything. In the past few years, we've been on maximum overload when it comes to feeling. Not just other people's feelings or emotions like our children, our spouses, our siblings, our parents, our workplace, coworkers, or friends. It's more. It's much, much more than that. Now we don't take turns feeling people one by one, but the incredible amount of emotion that we have stored within us that is not ours has caused a backlog, to say the least. Something we've learned to keep tight, buttoned up, to present only which we feel is acceptable to others, to show only the sides of ourselves that are what others will approve of, accept, and like, because we want to be liked after all. We want people to think we're good, we're kind, we're worthy. Now, I know I'm being a bit dramatic, of course, but it's true, isn't it? Aren't I just really saying what the truth is? We try so hard to hold back the things that are not good about us, the things that we think will be judged, evaluated. And so we just don't talk about those things with other people, especially people we like and want to like us back. So we hide it, we stuff it, we keep it buttoned up so that the emotion will not take us over. But you see, the thing is, is it does. Sooner or later, it will spill over. And not in a way that we can control or contain. It will overflow. It will find its way out. And that neatly formulated package, the image that we present to others, will be destroyed. And the relationships that you've built based on the holding back of things instead of the sharing of you will be overturned. And in some cases, this will be a good thing. It'll be freedom. It'll be 
more authenticity, more truth, more acceptance, more of the unconditional kind of love that you've read about in fairy tales and thought surely cannot, that cannot exist in real life. And the reason why it cannot exist for you in this real life is because you are not living that. You have filled your life with conditions. You started this. You did. And it's up, for, it's up to you, one by one, to change the condition, to open your heart, to let the emotion flow. It doesn't mean you have to express everything to everyone at all times. It doesn't mean that you share your story with everybody. Intimacy grows in time and there are different levels of relationship that we have with all different kinds of people in our lives. And you get to use discernment to determine who gets to know what about you. But you are shared in a different way now. You can be, if you choose to be. If you choose to allow the emotion that lives inside you to move and flow freely, to not be barricaded, to not be controlled or contained, because you, after all, are a fierce and powerful force, a force of nature ready to express, not to expose, but determined and steadfast to move ahead, to embrace life, all of it, to savor every moment. But in order to do that, my friend, you must recognize this. (laughs) You are human. You are human, my darling, and you will make mistakes many of them. So stop trying to be so perfect, to care so much about other people's lives and their stories that you neglect to manage and care for your own, yourself. Tend to your needs so that you can flourish when you are in the right environment. You can expand and grow, not to be used, manipulated, controlled, or contained, but rather with emotion and fury of loving, passionate charisma. You shall move into the world and through the world and find other sweet and passionate souls that will love the variety that you offer and your authenticity and your shine and your light and the honesty of your shadows will be what grounds you now and as you move into the future. I hope that this Sunday morning coffee finds you well, finds you open-hearted to be able to receive this message today. It is channeled, it is inspired, it is held sacred for you in this moment as you move forward as you ripple out into the world, into all the relationships you choose to have. Don't look back. Don't look back. 